Only for you, baby. Only for you. Keep it to yourself, young. Male dip breather, approximately 30, west end and 72nd. 10 4, huh? I'm coming, baby. Big Daddy Marcus is coming. Nicholas Cage and Bing Rames are paramedics in a little too much of a hurry in that scene from Martin Scorsese's new film, Bringing Out the Dead. Our first movie is Bringing Out the Dead, and it's a great film filled with fire and passion that reunites the team of director Martin Scorsese and writer Paul Schrader, the same two men who made Taxi Driver, Raging Bull, and The Last Temptation of Christ. Like Taxi Driver, Bringing Out the Dead is about a man on the edge of madness who cruises the night streets of New York trying to bring help to people who don't always want help. His name is Frank, and he's played by Nicolas Cage, and a lot of his work is emergency on-the-job improvisation. Larry, call for backup. 63 Zebra, 1085, 4th width, 44 and 8. Hallelujah, you crazy bitch! Oh, you didn't let me finish. We have rules against killing people on the street, okay? It looks bad. There's a special room at the hospital for terminating. It's a nice, quiet room with a big bed. Miles, spill it! You mean that? Yeah. That's Mark Anthony is a deranged man who's a regular client. They know him by name. Frank has a different co-pilot every night. One of them is played by John Goodman, who distracts himself from the job with thoughts of his next meal. Oh, no! What? I just remembered I'm so stupid. I had beef lo mein last night. I can't eat the same thing two nights in a row. Frank is way past being burned out, and he keeps trying to quit. The captain threatens to fire him, but never does. I'll fire you tomorrow! Even better than that, what was I thinking about? I could forward you some sick time. How about a week? A week's not gonna do it. A week's not gonna do it. Kid, you're saying no, you ain't gonna do it. That's Arthur Nascarella reminding me a little of the dispatcher in Taxi Driver. Patricia Arquette co-stars and is touching as the daughter of a dying man that Frank has brought back to life. This city, it'll kill you if you aren't strong enough. Well, the city doesn't discriminate. It gets everybody. Bringing Out the Dead doesn't give Frank the relief of being in a story with a beginning and an end. His life is a loop of endless emergencies. Nicholas Cage is right for this role, and Scorsese throws other characters at him to create a disjointed rhythm of the paramedic's endless job. Cliff Curtis is especially effective as the owner of a drug house. Although I've admired Scorsese's recent efforts to break out of his city streets mode in good films like The Age of Innocence and Kunden, Bringing Out the Dead shows him at the top of his form in a powerful film about a man who tries to do the right thing but never seems to get anywhere. But you know, even though Paramount is selling this as kind of a very Scorsese movie with a lot of fast-moving images a la Cape Fear, mm -hmm. uh, it's really a lot more like Last Temptation of Christ. It's a lot it's very passionate, very Catholic. Mm -hmm. uh, the story of this man trying to find redemption or looking for it because he doesn't believe he really uh, can do his job anymore. Exactly. And it's interesting that Scorsese went back and got Paul Schrader to write this screenplay because the two of them, I think, are on the same wavelength when it comes to this kind of material as they were in Last Temptation, Raging Bull, and Taxi Driver. Here is a guy who suffers because of his inability to really do anything good. He wants to help, and he can't, and he's out there every night just being driven crazy by the weight of suffering that comes down on him. Yeah, well, I think he's decided he's God. I think that's a lot of a lot of this movie is that he's decided he's God, and he doesn't have the touch, and by the end of the movie, he realizes perhaps he's not God, and he should give himself some absolution. But this is not an easy movie. I mean, a lot of people are going to have a hard time with the story because really Cage's character goes, as you said earlier in your thing, from really from A to B. Mm -hmm. This is not a long story. This is not your typical Nicolas Cage experience. But it is a wonderful, powerful movie in its subtlety. And what life Scorsese brings to it. His movies are alive. They vibrate with these characters, these locations. The kinetic energy, the camera work. Well, he's got the three unwise men in the movie. Exactly. <laughs> Walking you, through and being crazy, all three of them. You so. look at one of his movies and you just wake up and you say other yeah. people are kind of sleepwalking compared to him. Yeah, it's amazing.